I now want to start looking at alternative routes for my railway through the hilly area. To do this, I have used Bentley Rail Track to display the DTM as colour-coded elevations. And this allows me to look at the terrain and understand what is happening. I'm going to be starting over here, and the first route is going to go around to the north side of the hills over here, and finish over here roughly. My second route is going to pass through the middle valleys here, and end up over here. And the third route is going to take a more southerly route through these two valleys here, and again arrive at the same end point. At this early stage in my feasibility design, I'm going to use a simple microstation line string to define my route, and sketch that in along the path I want a section to be taken through the terrain model. As I'm doing this, I'm aiming to keep the line string within the colour band, which would generally indicate that it's following a level path. So that is the first route complete. And then I repeat this for the second and third route. So I now have my paths defined for each of the routes. Now I'm going to use the Evaluate Profile tool inside Bentley Rail Track to create a profile along these line streams that I've created. So for route 1, I set its name, apply, choose the line string, and then tell the system where on the drawing I would like my profile to be displayed. And then I repeat that for the other two routes. So route 2, choose the line string, And here is the profile for that particular route. Same for route 3. And there is my profile for that route as well. The first thing to note for these alternatives is the route 1 is the longest, route 2 is a little bit shorter, and route 3 is the shortest of them. These profiles have been drawn with a 10 to 1 exaggeration on level. So a line which is showing 45 degrees on the diagram represents a 1 in 10 slope in reality. So I can quickly start to form an opinion about the possible gradients and where tunnels might have to start and end based on these profiles. Here on Route 2, I'd like to find out approximately the length of the tunnel through this section. So I use a microstation tool to measure the distance from one tunnel portal to the other. And the length of the tunnel has been measured at about 1,700 metres. For Route 3, it looks like I'll require two tunnels, one here, a short one, possibly a viaduct, and then into tunnel through the mountain part. There may be another short viaduct required in this area. Measuring the possible tunnel on Route 3 indicates a length of around about 1,200 metres. So at a very early stage in our feasibility design, we have already identified where the major infrastructure items will be required and have a rough order of magnitude for their size. I now want to look at the slopes through this area. You may recall from the slope analysis there were steep slopes indicated here. As before, all I have to do is create a simple line string for where I want my section taken and then use the sectioning tool inside Bentley Rail Track to create my section. Choose the baseline for my section and then place the section on the page. And as you can see the slopes indicated on the section are extremely steep and probably it will be quite difficult to build the railway along this section. Finally I want to look at possible locations for tunnel portals. To do this, I use the tools in MicroStation to fly around the model to look at the portal sites in 3D perspective. Here are some examples of the various views that I have taken. In summary, we have used a combination of tools in MicroStation and Bentley Rail Track to start forming an early stage opinion of what we can do with these three alternative routes through the hilly section. This was done quickly and easily, and is very straightforward to do.